Welcome to part 2 of the Exotech F1 Ultra build. In this video, we'll be assembling the back half of the car, which includes the rear pod, differential, and wing mount. Let's start by opening bag number 3. Like we did in part 1 of the build, make sure you use blue thread locker when threading screws into any aluminum parts. Because the hole for the set screw doesn't have a stop, we had to use the same creative ball stud install trick that we used in part one of our build. For fear of cross threading, I installed these 14 millimeter set screws by hand. Make sure you install them in as far as possible. The F1 Ultra comes with right height axle inserts with five different options. I'm going to start with the one down setup. My diff rings had some rough edges on them from the stamping process. To help clean them up, I ran the rings across some 400 grit sandpaper until the edges were smooth. Make sure you place the sanded edges toward the spur gear. At 
After years of building hundreds of ball diffs, I found this to be the easiest and works great with all types of ball diff designs. Fill the holes you will be using in the spur gear with clear diff grease. Now carefully place a diff ball in each of the holes you filled with grease. A pair of tweezers helps out immensely. Mate the two diff halves together and, while applying even pressure, seat the diff balls into the spur gear. Pay close attention to the manual for the orientation of the thrust bearing. I like to use a Tamiya T-wrench to make sure the parts are seated all the way in the housing. I like to stack the thrust washers on my MIP tool for easy installation. You can use this grossly exaggerated picture to make sure you have all these washers oriented correctly. Don't worry about setting the diff just yet. We'll do this in a later step. I would suggest giving it a few twists to make sure it's smooth and all the parts have seated. inch blue spaces are optional. However, I'm going to give them a try. Make sure you leave a minute amount of free play between the left side hub and the bearing. Time for the initial diff setup. Tighten the diff down, then install a pair of tires. While holding both tires, try and turn the spur gear with your thumb. You want it tight enough to where you can barely turn the gear. This will be a good starting point. There are three holes in the axle cap. Make sure you install the set screw into the center threaded one. Note the flat spot on the retaining pin. You'll want to rotate this and key this to the set screw. The wing mount has three positions, high, medium, and low. 
I'm going to start out with the more neutral medium position. To help tighten up the suspension, I would suggest adding O-rings on both ball studs under this link. You'll need to supply your own O-rings here. And boom, done with part two of the Exotech F1 Ultra build. Thanks for watching, and please make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of future builds in this series. Mm -hmm.